Hey everyone, welcome again to the AGM Proverbs 31 talk. Today we have my mom and my auntie, so my mom Lisa and my tita Viola, here with us today to speak about their friendship. So they've been friends for a very long time. They will obviously tell us soon. So let's get some advice as well from today and hear of how their friendship has grown, especially during this time in this pandemic. How long, friend, do you remember? Around 15 years. 15 years, that's a long time. It's about that, yeah. Yeah. So we started to be friends when the, both our daughter was in uh, nursery, isn't it? If that was nursery, isn't it, friend? Yes. We started to be friends when they were going to the same school and the same class. And they were there now, Marison is now 21. Yeah, I'm 21 this uh, year. And this is like, yeah, about 15 years. Yes, thank you. So, you know, everyone knows, especially those that live in London, that live in the UK, that we have had more than one lockdown. But speaking on the first lockdown that we unexpectedly had to experience, this trend about the plants, plantitas. Yeah, cooking. Don't know why when the lockdown came, at, it's become trend to have plants. So we were busy about our plants, buying plants, succulent, different types of plants, indoor plants, out, outdoor plants. You know, it's because they said um, it gives you, um, it's a purifier. Yeah, it so, helps. He's a very nice person. He's sweet, he's helpful, he's kind. Yeah, like um, I said, uh, he's he's fighter. <laughs> she can defend you. Yeah. He's always there for me. And then um, in my break, I always um, call her and, yeah, and tell her about my problems. He's always uh, there. My friend is like, maybe funny, but it's like first Corinthians, you know. <laughs> she's patient, she's kind, you know. You can see a real friend because when you're sad this time, like anytime you could have them, whatever um, the circumstances, you, you could tell a kind of friend like her and uh, the respect. She's got respect to me. You know, the best of, about her as well. Like she called me, she said, have you had your break? Did you have a food? <laughs> you know? And I said, what did you cook? <laughs> She's so generous, you know, generous, my friend. Even in their house, if you go to their house, all day long, you know, it's like you could have food, new food, you know. It's not only when you are full, but when you go home, you still have the takeaway bag. I know. Sometimes I cook the food and then I give it as well. What we are, what we were dreaming, friend, when we go out. We have a house in Kingford already. <laughs> yeah, we wish we were uh, next to its other. We we always go to Kingford for a reason that my daughter was there. I was buried there. So every time we pass by, we look at the two house together, attached together, and the entrance of the garden is only one. And then we just like, oh, it's so nice to be together. Yeah, and then it's, it's not going to be non Then the garden will be non-stop. And then Marison will be, Tita Viola, do you have this uh, potato salad? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were dreaming even, you know, to have a, to have a coffee shop, you know, working together. We managed our own coffee shop. English breakfast or something. Mm, English breakfast. Now I'm hungry and it's like what 1 a.m. This um, pandemic is not the yeah. biggest challenge when we were uh, when both of us has got this um, COVID, isn't it? That was the first first lockdown first from last year. I can remember that was March. It's, it's quite worrying because both of our husband was sick. 
and I also cut and I think you cut it as well isn't it right yes. yeah. and uh, if you cut the COVID that was the time that it was very scary because they don't have a medicine they don't know how to treat in the hospital so we call it other all the time what what we have to do we keep um said we keep pray what we have to do we have to pray because we don't have nothing we cannot do anything there's no medicine for this covid and it's not only us yes who has this kind of thing and even uh, while we were um having sickness some of our um one of our friends was sick as well we didn't if you don't lose the faith just we cope the trials we had this it's very big challenge is that friends is so hard every day prayer i think in the prayer meeting always nelson and jan in the mm. prayer request and then end of the year um we had a redundant after we were both furloughed because our job was clo- uh, because of this lockdown so so we were furloughed for how many months and then i was redundant actually i was out of work and then after that she was as well that redundancy we didn't choice we asked god's will until now we're not working we still uh, give uh, we trust in god that uh, he has a job for us waiting there yes definitely god has a great plan yeah um speaking on the first thing so covid has always been um a very difficult um sickness to have yeah. some people undermine covid Um, but it's you know once you experience it you really know it's scary especially the beginning um, not to say that now is not bad now is it's still bad you know like people are still catching it you know people are still losing their lives people are still on the verge or they're struggling but for um, our families personally especially being there and seeing it and hearing about it um, it was it wasn't as much any easier having covid especially in the time where you it wasn't always a case of you can just get a test or oh, in the time they couldn't even get of course there's no there was no vaccine at the time it was just new they didn't have as much information about covid and the news was just negativity about covid so for the family it it wasn't um i don't want to say it was a blessing in disguise or anything It wasn't a good feeling at all, but we still give glory to God because he made a way for us to get out of it. And we had each other that God used um, each family as an instrument to keep each other strong. For me, um, uh, respect and trust. You are not actually uh, now just a friend. Mm -hmm. But we, we treat each other like a sister now, more than friend now. Because of all, she knows everything most of the time because, uh, and I know, <clears throat> I know who is she. We know each other so much now, I think. Mm-hmm. Because I don't share my personality. I don't share my ups and downs to anyone. So thank you for answering the questions and showing how much there's so much love and respect and strength. I can quote Um, like to be honest that I can quote 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 and onwards to express and to speak about um, your friendship. So before we close, I just want to see how well you know each other as, of course, you say that you know each other very well, <laughs> that even, even when you look at each other, you already know what the other person is thinking. So let's see if that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so I have some questions now and you will answer for the other person. So for example, what is um, each other's favorite color? You will say that, but I'm not going to ask that because I already know that you don't know <laughs> each other's favorite color and you only found out yesterday. Okay, so I'm going to ask a few questions and the first one, you just have to say the answers. So the first one is, I, I make a lot of different type of dessert, but she said, "Friend, you know, I feel like having this mochiko. That's that's her favorite from me, I suppose. I think so." <laughs> but I, she said, "Valerie's favorite, but I know I 
is also her favorite. Yeah. So are your answers correct? I guess yes, because you already. Yes, I love pad thai as well. I always watch this as well, but we always share this. Is it preaching? The preaching, yeah, the preaching. And then we were laughing when we, like, when the like the pastor is saying, "Did you hear that? Did she say?" And we were both like, we were sharing this. The preaching is like, you know, we're busy watching that, isn't it? Most of the time now. That. So you think you watch the same thing because you send it to each other? Yeah, isn't it? I think so. Do you do that? Every time I've opened the the, if I open the YouTube first, I'm gonna watch that. Mostly friends is this uh you know this uh we was this pastor in love this because she will write, <laughs> we will because she's really tell you off you know <laughs> if you want to be told off what's this one so guys if you want to be told off you want to be humbled you watch Ed Lapis <laughs> don't say Philippines that's obvious <laughs> yeah. But where in the Philippines? Isabella, isn't it, friend? <laughs> okay, what's the right answer? <laughs> I was thinking, I said, where did she get that from as well? Yeah, it's Pangasinan. I'm interested about her most of the time. Who is she? <laughs> Who is she, not where she's from? Yeah. <laughs> Viola is the eldest. Yeah. Lisa is the only child. Oh, that trick question. That's why I was testing. She's the only child. I was like, what if Tita Viola says eldest or youngest? <laughs> Those are correct. Of course. Her husband. <laughs> yeah, he makes the whole town, the whole London laugh. <laughs> it's Miguel. Yeah, it's right, my husband, but... But she, actually, my husband is the one who's making all of you laugh. Yeah, in the house is Miguel. Someday, you're gonna realize One day, you'll see this through my eyes Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys, um, for today for sharing your experience the laughter the joy the love and even the difficult times which is not always easy to speak about so thank you for sharing everything for being transparent and um i hope those that are looking for a friend or um are in friendships will take advice on this to always love your friends to respect your friends and to get to know them more you know because sometimes there's some things that you don't know <laughs> about your friends so spend more time with your friends as much as possible even if it's only through the phone okay so thank you everyone the next talk will be about parenting so how people parent so we hope to see you guys there and then hopefully soon you will see these lovely ladies again but with their hobbies. So dad, if you were with mommy right now and you're listening, you cannot say no. You're going to be in the next, next one as well. <laughs> okay. So thank you everyone and see you again next week. God's bless. Bye. Bye. Bye.